Good morning. It's day three. Um, we're in Starbucks this morning, getting a coffee. There is a Starbucks on site. I think there's one in every hotel, actually, um, on the Disney property. <coughs> Nevertheless, that's what we're doing. Uh, we're in Starbucks, getting a coffee now. So if it's just over there, we're doing. So I think what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going into the studios, um, Disney Studios, and looking at all the different shows, um, see if we can get on Ratatouille in the morning, um, all of those kind of things today. And then maybe later on we'll come back, maybe have a little nap, and then see if we can stay again for the fireworks. We did catch the fireworks last night, as you'll see in the last vlog, um, as there's a, a new electric light show. It's still pretty cool, actually. Um, and it was really packed. I think there's actually like a, um, a Spanish holiday at the moment and perhaps a French holiday as well, but there are loads of Spanish and loads of French. French, obviously, because we're in France, but literally loads and loads of Spanish. So maybe there's a Spanish holiday. Let me know in the comments if you know if there's a Spanish holiday at the moment. Um, but anyways, um, we'll see you when we're on our way to the park. 21. So we've just uh, been in a coffee shop We've had our coffee, Sophie's still drinking hers. Is your coffee delightful, my dear? It's nice, it's, I, but I still have oat milk. So, right. having a row with the old woman in this shop. She just doesn't understand what I'm saying. I can't understand why they don't understand English. It's so silly, isn't it? No, I should speak, <laughs> I should speak French. But, but yeah, this is the weird thing. You are fluent in Spanish and French, so I don't understand why she didn't understand you. It's fine, the security's been running over. Right, okay. <laughs> There's the old security there with their stab vests on just in case anyone gets a bit crazy in Disney. Um, yeah, this is the old, um, what's this called, Cheyenne? Yeah. The Cheyenne Hotel. Really nice, this one. Um, got a fire pit there, just there. That's their restaurant. And that's the bar where you can get pizza and beer. Good stuff. And just there, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Um, just, just there is actually the uh, Starbucks in this resort. Their reception as well, they do character meet and greets in their reception. Um, so value for money wise, this is actually a really good hotel. The rooms... We have it in uh, Santa Fe as well, the uh, character meet and greet. But, but it's not as not, obvious, is it? Not. Oh, in that main foyer. Yeah, in the but, reception. Yeah. Yeah, we're just not... Mm. Back in there. It's nowhere near as nice as this though, is it? I think this is nice. It's nicer, isn't it? And um, yeah, as Sophie said, in the summer. Oh yeah, look! Wow, look! I, did, I actually never seen this before. I just heard, I heard a rumor that they uh, did horse rides up and down, but I actually do look. Boys, do you want to go on a horse? You want to go on a horsey? Look. You can go on a little ride on the ponies, look. <laughs> you want to go on one? No. You sure? No. Jack, do you fancy it? No. You fancy it? You want to go on a horse? I've never been I think you should go on a horse. Yeah? yeah? You up for that? Lovely little pony. So they got four ponies, and what they do is just over there. You can see them now. Look, walking up and down, and they walk up and down this pathway. Um, yeah, and you can have a ride on a pony. How good's that? I actually never, I've <laughs> never seen it. So when we first started coming to Disney, Disney Paris, it was during COVID, and they didn't have anything like this. Um, but now they do. How cool is that? I'm really impressed with that. Let's see how much it is. Let's see how much it is, right. What does it say? Right, so it says you need a token now. Uh, pony, pony ride, right. Children from three years old. How do we, how do we get the, uh, do we, pay by card or do you have to go in the reception? Uh, you pay at the general store, the gift shop and come back. In the gift shop, okay. Yes. It's 12 euros a ride, yes. is it? Yes. Okay, and it's all the way down and back? Uh, in the middle road. 
the between and the wrap and uh, forward and back. Yeah. yeah. And sorry, I speak English. Yeah, no, no, merci, merci. Your English is much better than my French. Bien. <laughs> right. Okay, so it's 12 euros. You pay in the um, in the gift shop or the reception. And then you come back with your token and then they take you up and down. That's pretty good, isn't it? 12 euros. Should we do that then? Okay, yeah. yeah? I don't know if they're going to be there later. Okay. Okay, yeah, do it now, then. Or we could do it tomorrow. Whatever you want to do. Last day tomorrow. It's yeah. up to you. If you want to do it now, do you want to do it now, Jack? You want to go on the horse up and down? Uh, but yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> He's buzzing for it. You want to go on the horse, see? Yeah. Yes! Come on then. Right, okay. Look, come over here with us. Right. Open and you chuck something in there, mm. then it falls down from the sky. But I actually walk, watched a piggy thing, right? And it was open, and a piggy throwed a hammer in there, and then he did this. <laughs> so, this is the reception of this hotel. And like I say, the character meeting group is just over there. But we're interested, Jack, come here. In the gift shop, where you can get the pony ride, which is just in here. So, this is what we're doing. Okay, so we've got ourselves a little token, so we can take Jack on the ponies. Okay, so Jack's just getting himself ready for his first pony ride ever. First horse ride ever, isn't it? Yeah, literally. Oh, it's going to be great fun, Jack. <laughs> yeah, go stand on this yellow step over here, and the lady's going to bring the pony out. Get him on the step. Oh, on the step. Yeah, go on. Yeah, that's it. All right, stand at the at the base of it, just there, Jack. That's it. Stand there. That's it. And then what will happen is they'll bring the pony out, and then you can get on it. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Some other kids there just coming back from their ride. This is great. Mind that, come come this way a little bit, Jack, so that that kid can get off. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like this Lila time. for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you're going on Leela. Yeah, look, you got a nice brown pony. So they probably they got to swap them out so they can have a little rest. You see? That's it. All right, here we go. One, two. That's it. Yes, the middle please take here. That's it. Go on, Jack. Good lad. It's okay? Yes. Yeah? Let's go. <laughs> Can you take a pony, please? Yeah. Yes, thank you. Okay. You go to the middle road, you go yeah. to the end and come back. Okay. Okay? Yeah, no problem. Awesome. You ready? <laughs> yeah. Come on then, let's go. Uh -huh. It's okay? So, just hold on nicely. That's it. Good boy. So, this is Jack on a pony. The horse knows what to do, I think. It's just taking itself. This is good fun, isn't it? Yeah. Like a cowboy, like Woody. Yeehaw! <laughs> so. Yeah, really cool. What was her name again? Leela, was it? No, it's Leela. Okay, good stuff. All right, so we're going to crack on anyway and enjoy this, and uh, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, we have just arrived at Walt Disney Studios. So we're just about to go in. Oh, I think I need a ticket, so tough. So watch me do this one-handed. Oh, 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 ready? This is how we do it, right. So put that on there. That gets green lighted, and then we go through. And then I give that back to Sophie, also. Okay, I'll and put it, give it back to you, so I don't lose it. Yeah. So that's how you do that one-handed with two kids. That's a good tip. So top tip: if you come in with kids, bring a pram. Jack's nearly six. But we still use a pram. Why? Because kids need to rest. They get tired. Um, all sorts of different reasons. It's yeah, and it's just so much easier to control your kids. 
um, in a prayer. Right, so the, so the main entrance is closed, yeah. More closures in Disney. It's such a shame that so much is closed. Um, but nevertheless, it's not going to ruin our vacation. We are here for the, having fun. Oh, it's the Hollywood Tower of Terror. You keep your receipt, and if by the end of the day or middle of the day your child rubs it off because you've got your receipt, you can go back there and they'll redo it for you for your charge. Really? Same day, yeah. Oh, I never knew that. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? Yeah, so if it rains or... So you, it, your kid can always look like a good character. Yeah. No. Wicked. It's got to be on the same day. Now, you're not going to go to bed, are you? And uh, you wake up in the morning. Can you touch up my makeup, please? No. Although I'm sure some do try it. Right, where are we off to first, did you say? In here? Right, okay. Yeah, it starts at 20 past, 20 minutes time. And what is this on? So, oh, the new Pixar one, right, okay. Right, let's see if we can get the buggies away. And uh, see you in there. Right, we're in the queue for the new Pixar one, right? The new Pixar show. It says we're not allowed to take any videos or photos, but we'll try and get a little sneaky peek. No, you're not Yeah, allowed. we'll, we'll try and get a little... No, try and get a little, little preview. Yeah, yeah, we're trying. We're trying. For you. Just for you guys. Okay, guys, we're in. This is what it looks like. It looks really cool. It's a massive theatre. There we go. Right, so we've just come out of the Together by Pixar show. Really, really, really good. Yeah? Like, what did you think so of that? good. It was amazing. Really, really good. Um, yeah. Best show here. Definitely was. I think it's probably one of the best, no, if not the best, Disney show in the parks that we've seen. So far. That's how good I'd say it was. Yeah. So there are some sneaky bits that I've put in there that you can see. Um, but you have to come and see it. It's really it's, good. It's, really it's really good. amazing. It's really, really it's good. Clever. Yeah, definitely make a reservation or whatever. You can't really reserve it, but make a reservation to get yourself here and go and see that show. That's how good it was. It's I mean, even the smells. Yeah. They had, they had smells coming in there. I'd say it was a cross between Bubbles. soaring and like a show, all mixed in together. That's how good it was. It, it was bubbles from the ceiling. Really good all surprises. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. So definitely go see it. Right, what's next then? What are we thinking? I'm not sure yet. Um, I think another show. Another show? Yeah, I think uh, we're going to go over to Mickey's Magic. Magic? Like that, yeah. The Mickey Magic Show! I've got to have a look. I haven't had a look yet. Alright, we'll have a look and then um, we'll let you know what we're doing. So the plan is we're going to go to uh, Frozen Musical. Yep. We'll see how good their singing is. <laughs> um, construction update. There are loads of construction walls up. Again, in this one. Um, I'm not sure when it's all going to be done. I, I think by sort of the 15th of July, is it? It's all meant to be done but I'm not sure. So those of you that are coming later on in the year, hopefully none of this will be here. But I think this is all in preparation. So there's two things. One, apparently Paris are actually hosting the Olympics this year. So I think they're getting a lot of stuff ready for that. Um, sort of in and around that and involvement. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but that's just what I've heard. And also, obviously, there's the frozen land that they're constructing over the back of this park. So if we can, we'll see if we can get any updates or images of that a little bit later on in the video. And if you can do me a favour, if you do like the video, please don't forget to like it um, and subscribe so you can see all our future videos coming up. And check out some of our past videos. We've got loads of good content. Well, we think it's good anyway. But um, yeah, so we'll catch you at the Frozen Show. So Chris is going on the ride with the boys. Jack and Charlie are going on it. I'm waiting with Noah. It said 15 minutes, but I think it's been about 10 minutes. It might be 15, because obviously they're not on it yet, but they're just waiting to go on to the cars ride. I've sat this one out. It's a... Uh, it's a bit too spinny for me. 
Here's uh, Chris and the boys all getting all strapped in. I don't know if Chris can get strapped in. He's trying. I don't think he'll fall out either. I think he's well and truly wedged in there. Now he's, now he's grabbing my arm with the camera. And they're off. Good fun, yeah. Did you enjoy it? Yep. Very dizzy. Spinny, spinny. Spinny, spinny, boys. We were just about to get that belt on it. It was so small to try and Yeah, get I was on. just saying that uh, it didn't, I don't think it mattered anyway because I think he was well and truly wedged in there. Yeah. I don't yeah, think he was going to come out. Yeah. <laughs> right, what's next? Jack, what are we going on next? Jack. Anyway. We don't know. We don't know what we're going to go on next. We're going to have a look, see at the wait times and then um, see some shows in a little while. Okay. Right, heading into Toy Story Land. So just down there you've got the uh, French place where you got, um, what's that now, ride now? Which one? Ratatouille, that's it, that's what I'm looking for. You've got a French place down here with a the Ratatouille, but we're going to start in here. And you got, uh, it's like a sky drop down there. And yeah, this is all like Toy Story Land, but in Paris. <laughs> I don't. What time does this park close? Is it earlier than the other one? Yeah, I think it's nine. Oh, okay. I so you wouldn't. Double check because it changes all the time. Yeah, I was going to say you probably look nice at night, but you won't see it because it's too light. So it doesn't get dark till like half past ten. Yeah, probably better in the winter if you want to see the the lights in this lit up at night. I mean, it looks good in Florida when we went there. Right, Slinky Dog Dash is this? Yeah, zigzags. There we go, stinky dog, zigzag, super duper. There we go. <laughs> so right, we're gonna go on this now, I think. Right, so Sophie and Charlie have gone on the slinky dog ride. It's only a 15 minute wait. So yeah, quickly got on and enjoying that now. One thing to know about this slinky dog ride is it's like literally 30 seconds. It's really not a quick ride. So if it has got a massive queue, I'd probably swerve that one unless you really, really, really want to go on it. Um, but like I say, 15 minute wait on this, so not so bad. But this one behind me, the RC ride, it goes up and down really high. That's closed at the moment. Again, I'm not sure when that's going to be open. I think it's going to be the 15th of the 7th when they're going to start opening stuff up. Um, but check the Disney app to see what closures there are before you book so you can guarantee a really good quality stay. So, Let's keep our eye out for Sophie and uh, Charlie on the right. Here we go. See if we can spot them. There they are. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Catch them on the way around again. Hey there y'all, we just stopped at Left and Go, got a simple crop majeure and a cake and a bit of coke. <laughs> so yeah, this is by the Cars uh, Studio Tour Ride, I always call it. And that's actually where they're um, doing the construction for uh, the new Frozen Land. So I'll see if we can get a sneaky little peek in there. Uh, I'll hold you up over the fence or something like that, see if it works. But in this little van here, um, yeah, we just got this, I'll show you. It's cheese little, based, isn't it? Yeah, cheese based, laughing, laughing cow. cow. So it's uh, Croc McQueen, it's called. And then there's like a little cake that they've just got, and they've got a Coke. This is pretty much just junk food everywhere, but there we go. Um, we're on holiday, so why not? But yeah, uh, I think we're going to go on that ride, as I said, the, the um, Lightning McQueen studio tour. And uh, we'll see you there. Right, here we go then. We are going to jump on the movie ride just there. Yeah, the movie ride. That's what it's called, the movie ride. Um, yeah, it is. And apparently, 
as you go around they chuck free sweets at you and all the sweets go onto the bus and you can eat them it's like Candyland I don't know it's just what they say I don't know so this is the format you jump on there again like I say it's like the Hollywood Studios tour yeah the road trip yeah that's what I said stuff and things you right, Noah? You? Has he got the stuff around him or not? Yeah. Has and it, he needs a haircut. He looks like he's from the 1970s. Didn't you, boy? <laughs> yeah. So what I think is quite funny is we often get asked tips for parents with young children on how they do Disney Paris. And really, to put it quite simply, is there are no tips. There is no hack. Like, do it. And it's, it's the nightmare. It's, it's a nightmare. It's just how much you're willing to put up with and what you're willing to do. Um, but they do enjoy it. They whinge. They whinge a lot. But they really do enjoy it. But we do as well. All kids don't listen, do they? Yeah. Yeah. So, it's just a case of just getting on with it. Um, packing. Sos the packing expert, she does all the packing, making sure that we've got enough stuff and enough things um, for any outcome really. I think that's why, because we've been to so many different trips, we understand what you need, or she understands what we need, for every single journey we do, depending on the time of year as well, and what the weather's going to be like. Jack, wait. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love doing that. It's just saying it just depends on you know, like all the packing and that you do, eh? Yeah, so a lot, of a lot of packing. I'll do the easy part and just do the journey. It just turns up. Just turn up. I'm a, what they call it holiday princess. You are. Yeah. I'm a holiday princess. Yeah. Yeah. And my pants. <laughs> I don't even do that. Yeah. Well, anyways, we're going to jump on this and uh, we'll see you there. Alright, here we are. We're all on. Are you ready? Yeah, ready to go. Let's go. Wow. This canyon is so beautiful. <laughs> Whoa! Oh no, what's that noise? Oh no! Oh no, it's on fire! Right, so this is the construction going on. Can't really see much at the minute, but there's definitely some stuff going on back there. And then, so these are all the walls up for the uh, frozen land, right? Or Arendelle that they're building. So I don't know if you can see anything. Put it up there. Nah, you can't see anything. They've got it real battened down there. I've, and you're not allowed selfie sticks either. So if I had a selfie stick, I'd stick that up so we can have a look. But you can't. What you can see though, just around the corner, is that they've got um, some of the castle, or bits of the car, I imagine is the castle, um, up. 
have a look at that. There we go. So you can see that. So it's getting there. It really is getting there. Absolutely buzzing for that to be finished so we can go and see that. So we're now on Ratatouille. It was down when we came over here, but then all of a sudden it just opened up. So we've just run on here and got in the queue. And straight away it said it was 40 minutes, but I don't think it's gonna be 40 minutes. It's probably more gonna be like 10 minutes now. There's quite a few people jumped in front. Yeah, it should be fine. It was all queuing in here. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's gonna be quite quick. But great ride, we're looking forward to getting on it. So let's have a look. Come on in boys, we've got Charlie, yeah. Right, we're inside and it's like all themed like the rooftops of Paris. There we are, look, they can see in there. I wonder if the restaurant's just down there. Oh. So yeah, we're in Gusto's. Really cool theming. But yeah, maybe it's gonna be a little bit longer than we wanted it to be. Let's still be quicker than what it was. That's simple, man. Too simple. We're in a big fridge. We're all shrunken down to, to rat size. And that there is actually the restaurant where you can go. So this is a restaurant. You can come in here and have something to eat. So this is like um, the Gusto's restaurant, basically. Or is it Chef Remy's? Chef Remy's, because it's the rat's restaurant. And it's all like you're a rat, basically, and everything's giant. Okay, so we've just made our way over to the Marvel area. And um, you can see the big Iron Man robot behind me. So we're in, I think it's, what's it called now? It's um, Stark Factory. Um, so it's like a quick service. So we're gonna get some pizza and pasta in here. Um, I think Charlie's really tired, so he's going to have a sleep. Noah's going to have a sleep as well. And then we're going to see what else we can do. Let's give you a quick look around here. So it's really cool, actually. If you look at that, it's a Stark factory on there, on that big pizza oven. Um, yeah, like I said, it's, it's self-service, quick service, whatever you want to call it. And then you go around and you pay at the end. Okay, so lunch was a bit of a bust because all the card machines across the whole of Disney have stopped working. So, we've decided to come and watch a show. So we're watching uh, the Disney's magic show. DreamWorks magic show. Um, so Sophie's outside with uh, Noah because he's asleep. So me and the boys, we're having a boys one. This is what it looks like. So this is all about dreams and how there's like a dream factory that makes the dreams come true and you have loads of different characters. Uh, it's a really good show actually, I recommend watching it. Yeah, not a very big one, it's quite small. Not big enough. Okay, update. So we're coming over to the other park, as that park, there's a lot of stuff closed, there's a lot of barriers everywhere, um, the wait times are quite high, and the, the, it's difficult to get the food that we want all in the same place, because the cash machines aren't, uh, the card machines aren't working, we needed cash. So we've gone out, Sophie's got a bit of cash, um, and now we're gonna do something we've never done before, we're gonna have a look at the new Disney Hotel or the new old Disney Hotel that's been refurbed. Let's take a look. Are you excited, Soph? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna love it. 
Oh, it smells good. Oh yeah, it's gonna be fancy. Have they got a restaurant here? Be quiet now, please. There's your deluxe reception. Oh, look at this. Very nice, huh? Oh, I've done a real good job at this. It all looks brand new. Oh, it's, um, it's, is it Gaston? <laughs> oh, he's chopped his dummy. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Nice grand staircase. Massive chandelier up there. So is that? That's the entrance over there, isn't it? What do you think, Rush? It looks like a um, Grand Floridian. But like a really small version. Yeah. A miniature okay. version. Hard to push the pram on this um, carpet. Yeah, I just think that it was a bit, um, not smooth. Yeah, quite difficult to do. Right. Oh, they have got Castle Club, the Foundry's Restaurant Bar. It's up on the second floor up there. Oh, uh, okay. All right, well, we've had a look. Looks good. What's over there? Changing room. The ornaments room. It says there's an ornaments room around here. You want to see? Oh, okay. It says the ornaments room. Okay. Oh, like a like a show for the guests. Can I get out this way? No! Whoop. There we go. I'll see you. Oh, we're going this way. This, this is one of these windows she's talking about then. <laughs> Before um, the shots at five, sorry. Right. Okay, guess what? We're in the Lady in a Tramp restaurant. Take a look at this. So, on the board they got the special, which is Luca's. Oh, that's gone now, but <laughs> it was. Lady in a Tramp's here. Uh, that's their, and they've got a Luca one as well, in the film. That's the menu. Right, let's take a look at the theming in the restaurant. It is actually just a quick service, but it's, it's themed like an Italian restaurant with like paintings on the walls and stuff like that yeah it looks pretty good 
like I say, it's all quick service. Pizza, pasta, garlic bread. That's what you get. Oh, there's the Luca one. So you're going to get just a kid's pizza for Charlie. Yeah, but the sides, like, like, they won't eat none of them. Get the garlic bread and I'll eat it. No, you don't get garlic bread. Oh, what'd you get? You get uh, like apple puree, tomatoes, or baby bells. Baby bell. They'll eat the cheese. Hello? Yeah. They like a bit of cheese. I was thinking about the apple puree pin, but then I don't want to eat He won't eat that. Just get a baby bell. Okay, so everyone's fed. Um, we come out and it's absolutely peed down with rain. So, not sure about the weather today. Um, as the day's going on, it's getting more and more cloudy. So you can see behind me there. Yeah. So hopefully, it's, yeah. Hopefully it's a clear day tomorrow, and we can have another crack at it. Um, but yeah, it's it's definitely um, progressed more and more as the time's gone on, isn't it? The weather. To be honest with you, we've been really lucky this time around because every time we've come before, we've had to wear full-on reindeer. Yeah, the even if it was warm. Rain covers for the pram, everything. Yeah. Uh, yeah, even when it's been warm, it's just yeah. been torrential before. Yeah. So I think we've been really lucky this time. Yeah. Hopefully, it stays like this, it doesn't rain. Yeah. What do you wishful, think of that? Wishful thinking. What do you think of that food? Was it any good? It's tragic. Really. It's tragic. Yeah, I like that word, don't I? Tragic. Yeah. I didn't really think much of it, really. It was expensive for what it was as well, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, and they didn't have... Um, the only reason I went with the kids one also, I was with the larger one, um, is because they have the ice creams, but they didn't have any ice creams at all, apparently. They sold out of ice creams. So that's like a big bill. Yeah. Oh, well. So... The kids don't eat baby bills. Yeah. Uh, well, I did. I ate them all, so... <laughs> right, so we're just going to go on this, and uh, we'll catch you in a bit. Guess what, everyone? We're going on Pirates of the Caribbean! <laughs> Guess who's with us? Jack. That's right. He's coming and he's going to enjoy himself. What do you think, so? We've got to have a photo with him. got to have a lovely photo. Yeah, nice picture. And uh, Jack wanted to be in it, didn't you, Jack? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So we're going back on Pirates um, to enjoy ourselves. Not sure what we're going to do after that. Um, we did actually have some little donuts as well just a minute ago, like they're called mini crepes, and you can get them round by um, like the Alice in Wonderland area, and they get Nutella as well, like in these little crepes. They're lovely, really nice little things. Recommend trying them. I would have got a picture, but I ate them too quick. Uh, so, anyway, we're getting on pirates, right? So, as a reward for doing such a lovely picture. We got them both a couple of swords and had a being a couple of terrors running around with his swords. <laughs> like wild animals these kids. <laughs> right, so we just popped into a shop underneath the castle. Check this out, let's have a look at it. Right. Now I'm not gonna turn around and show you all the stuff, but you get all princess dresses in here. It's traffic, hold on. So there's all princess dresses, all different types of princesses, all the little um, outfits and stuff. There's even books you can get as well. And in here, what's this bit here? Look, it's theming in this shop is pretty cool. Let's have a look. Look, you've got armor there underneath because it's a castle. There's some Mickey balloons, some more dresses. Look at this, we're in an enchanted wood. Um, that looks uh, really dodgy. Um, yeah, that, anyway. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we're going for it. Let's see. So this is like all the animals and stuff, all your plushies. Your Disney ears. Oh, some new Wish merch. Polly Pocket? I remember Polly Pocket. I think the, the bloke's just passed away, hasn't he? Has he? Yeah. But these are really good bloke. They've got little small, like, little figures and stuff. Oh, yeah. It lights up. Mm. Sings. And how much is that? Um, 
25 euros. I think that's really good. Is that not bad? Is yeah. that all right? Tinkerbell, got um, Little Mermaid. Yeah. 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 Strange little man holding some uh, candles. It's all the little details. That's a So is it just me or is most of this stuff like girly? Yeah, it's a girl, so it's, it's, in, it's in the castle, isn't it? So it's princess. Yeah. Yeah. It's not king's castle, is it? Yeah. 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 It's not yeah. 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 yeah, but shouldn't boys have toys as well? Yeah. Especially in castle, knights yeah. and all that, yeah. you know, kings, as you just said, yeah. princes. Yeah. I, I can pull it off. I can pull it off. Oh, man. Now this bit under the castle is a bit scary, so if you've got kids watching, be careful. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh look, let see what's in here. See if it comes out of camera first of all. It's actually a bit brighter in here than it was last time. Look at that big dragon. Charlie, you can't see him. All right, hello everyone. So we finished the day in Disney and Jack's now having dinner. The other boys are asleep. Um, so he's got himself some fish and chips. So we went into the um, New York sandwich place and they do fish and chips. What was it, 12 euros? 12 euros fish and chips. It was okay, it's okay. Jack's eating it now. Is it all right, Jack? There you go. Um, so yeah, we're wrapping up the evening. We're going to start making our way back to the hotel. We are going to pop into the Isle of Sandwich again and get ourselves a cheeky little pizza for the hotel room. Um, so me and Sophie can enjoy that. Um, get some good rest and then start again tomorrow. What's the plan for tomorrow, so? I think I want to do some more shows. Really get to see some of the shows. Um, like the Mickey Magic Show. Yeah. Um, Frozen Ever After. Oh yeah, Frozen Ever After. We've not done that one before, have we? Okay. I want to see some prize. We've not seen any show, Actually, like any prize. Never. Okay. Oh yeah, you want to do that one at, what is it, 12 o'clock, is it? I think it's 11.30, it's only once a day now. Right. Yeah, and it used to be like three times a day or twice a day so at least, if, along the Dragon. So if we try and do uh, Mickey's Magic Hours at tomorrow, are you 30? Do you think we'll manage it? What time? 8.30. Oh, is it? Not with you. <laughs> Captain Snore. Yeah, no, it's not going to happen. <laughs> That's not going to happen. So, if you didn't know, if you stay at the hotel, you get magic hours, which means that it's like, uh, Disney normally opens at half past nine, but you get to go in at half past eight. Um, so you get an hour, an hour extra, you know, extra magic um, in the parks to do what you want to do. Um, not to say that that means you'll be able to get on what you want, because it still might be very busy, who knows. Um, but yeah, so that will be the plan for tomorrow. Um, Wait, go on. also, you know, one day there's going to be actually a frozen land. There is, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. there is. So, yeah, Arendelle um, is coming. Yeah. Like, That's right. Uh, we might, like, stay tuned for a video that we're going to make when you see it. Like, yeah. when you see it. Yeah, definitely stay tuned for that one. 
So on that point, if you do like the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up because it really helps out the channel, it helps us reach other people so they can see what we're doing and obviously everyone can comment on the videos and share their experiences. And that's what we're trying to gather. We're trying to gather a community of different people that like the same thing um, with, uh, with their children or their friends or whatever so they know exactly what to do and where to go. So, alright, with that being said, thanks very much, see you tomorrow.